Hi everybody, it's Lonnie again. Uh, since I posted the tutorial the other day on the copy feature, I've gotten multiple requests for a um, demonstration on how to clean up the image a little bit. So, to that end, here we go. Here is our beautiful piece of line art. And we're going to stick it in the machine. Okay, it's in there. Now I'm going to switch the camera over to the software and we'll walk you through doing that. Okay, we're over to the software and now we are going to take our, pick up our image. Alright, so if we refresh the screen, there's our image on the bed. And we're going to come over here to extract image. Click on it. And you see when you bring it back up there, you've got the crosshairs. You click on the corner, bring it down where you want it, and let go. It's kind of like cropping an image. And then hit the check mark. When you do that, you'll notice up here, this whole bar shows up. There's multiple ways to edit the quality of the image. If this was a, a picture of something versus a drawing of something, you could change the grayscale here, the sharpness, um, and do some basic vid video ed editing on it like that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click here where it says Edit Image. And you see we've got our picture, but we've got this background on it that um, when we go to print that or engrave that, that's going to show up as a gray on the image, and we don't really want that. We want it just to be the, the line art draw the drawing. So up here there's a paintbrush on the left. We're going to click on that. And when you click on that, here it says tolerance and there's a slide bar on there. Moving it to the side it changes what the tolerance is. Um, so you pick a number. I want to start on the low end, 36 or so. And when you move over to the picture area, this pointer finger becomes the paintbrush. You put it on the color that you want to get rid of and you click it and as you see the checkered pattern there means that that's going to be clear um, so now we've got an image it's going to have some gray it's black we can leave it as is uh, well, I don't think we want his ears to be a different color so we're going to click in inside of that if you did that and you didn't get enough color taken away or you get too much color taken away that's where you slide your tolerance scale and that would change it to um, whatever you wanted. Um, I think I'm going to change their hand color to normal. Uh, let's say I uh, accidentally click on the black instead of where I want to do. Now the black has, has disappeared and that don't look right. So uh, up here in this corner over here, undo, redo up here so I'm going to click on undo what I just did and now it's back to where it was and I can go several steps back you see the hand is now filling back in um, I can skip back forward but I just go in the other way with it these uh, two here are obviously what they are they're magnifying glasses um, increase decrease this is um, a crop if you want to crop the image down farther you can use that to do it uh, this button here is an eraser. If you hit the eraser button, you get a little circle that shows up, and then you get the size on it. The higher the size, the bigger the circle. So we're going to get to like an average size circle. And say you've got an image where you have tried and you've tried and tried the tolerance on the magic wand, and you can't get it to get to where you want it. This will allow you to come over to the image, click on the image, and drag it to change it to what you want to disappear. Obviously we don't care about that. The magic wand has been doing it for us so we're going to just click on that. Um, change your feet and I think um, okay, now we're back to the basic line drawing. Once you've got this done to where you want it to be you hit confirm and that's what you got. Um, but I can't tell because it's only a piece of paper, but you see when you drag it over onto the grill, 
that's all we got. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step over to the machine. I'm going to pull that piece of paper out. And then I'm just going to grab, if I got a piece of junk wood, I can slap in there. And then I'm going to refresh the screen again. Now that drawing is going to disappear and my engraving wood is going to show up. Make it whatever size I want. Uh, we get your power settings over here. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe too dark, maybe too light. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll bump it up a little bit. 66. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do our autofocus on the image. I always double check that when I do an autofocus that that laser is actually hitting the piece of wood. Occasionally it'll be off. And you may notice that after the it, it does the autofocus that that little piece of wood sometimes will actually move. So um, I just like that. I always have to do the autofocus, then I'll reposition my image where I want it just to make sure that it does it. If you're doing a precise piece, real small, um, always after you do the autofocus, line up your image. Okay, so we're there. We're going to hit start. Okay, it's two minutes. We're going to hit send. I'm going to hit the button on the machine. And it's going to take off and go. I'm going to pause the camera for a second, and I'll be right back with the completed image. Okay, that's done, and I've got it out. Here's the new one. Uh, and this is the one we did the other day. And this is what it looked out looked like before it's cleaned up. If you can see the difference. Okay, um, like, share. Follow, comment. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, along with my other videos, I hope this helps too.